quick overview on setting up Ubuntu on a virtual machine with VirtualBox. First thing, go to Ubuntu.com and download the ISO file, right, for Ubuntu. After you download that, you want to save it on your computer, download the VirtualBox utility, install that. Basically, on virtualbox.org, they have the free utility that allows you to run operating systems within an operating system. And that's what we're going to do here. Instead of dual booting it, we're going to run Ubuntu within a virtual machine, the VirtualBox utility. So after you install it, we're going to click on New and um, type in a name to basically call this Ubuntu, right? So that way we have a profile for it. And um, we're going to set up how much memory we want to utilize from your machine. I have 8 gigs total so I'm going to use two gigs of that whenever I launch the virtual machine for Ubuntu and we're going to continue on that and select the defaults so I want to create a virtual hard drive which is dynamic and um, we're going to leave again the defaults for that as well not touch anything here and uh, also we're going to leave the size of that to 8 gigabytes. I'm not going to really be doing anything here because it's just for testing purposes. So 8 gigs is good enough for this operating system just to try it out. Now after you've done that, what you want to do is click on the settings at the top here and then go through all the settings to make sure that you have things set up the way you want. So for example, if you want to drag and drop both ways from your Windows to Ubuntu, you want to have things set up bi-directional. If you want to increase the amount of CPUs that are allocated to this virtual machine. So I want two CPUs, for example. Maybe you want 3D acceleration enabled for Ubuntu. So you have to go through these slowly and check off the options that you want. You don't have to enable everything, obviously, but you know, you want to have network support, you want to have USB support, you maybe you want to share a folder between Windows and Ubuntu so you can put things in there and then get them from there later on in Windows. So after you've done that and you've saved it, click on start and then browse for that ISO file, that Ubuntu ISO file that you downloaded. So I downloaded the Ubuntu 13.04 here. It's a 785 megabyte file. I selected it, click on start, and now I go through the setup screens to install Ubuntu within this 8 gigabyte virtual machine okay this area that has been basically confined or allocated just for Ubuntu and nothing else so when you go through the setup you don't have to worry about it destroying Windows or touching things in Windows it's not doing anything it's not harming Windows because it's only installing it within the virtual machine that's pretty much it if you are interested in how I set up Windows XP I'll add the link below comment let me know what you think and thank you for watching